Good morning, guys. How's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush back at it again. Yesterday, I told you guys why I haven't gotten rid of the SRT yet, and today, well, looks like we might just be trading the car in. After posting the video yesterday, a lot of you guys had a lot of supportive comments, and you were super, super down with the idea of me getting a charger. I saw a lot of support for that. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull the trigger today. I found the car that I want. It is a black Charger Hellcat with the red interior. It's got the sunroof, five spoke wheels. Man, I'm so excited to go check it out right now. So we're about 20 minutes away. Damn, guys, somebody did a number on this RT. Damn. Destructive. All right, boys, here we are pulling up to the dealership now. What's good, brother? Good I see you looking at the vets, bro. You about to switch sides or what? Bro. <laughs> you parked on the other side? Yeah, yeah, there's no parking in here. All right, let me go park over there real quick. All right, there's my boy's car. I'm gonna park up right next to him, and he has a charger. What is going on? That vet is wrapped, huh? huh? Yeah, it's yeah. got a wrap on it. La man Malone, bro, how sleeper is that? Damn. Like skinnies and welds and everything. Sheesh. All business. That's funny, it actually looks pretty good, though. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's like very simple, but it looks nice. Guys, here is the car we're here for. So this is a 2018 Charger Hellcat. Um, it's black, as you can see. It's got some stripes on it. And uh, the five-spoke wheels, which look sick. With the uh, orange calipers, yeah. And then it's got the sunroof, which is something that I wanted and the red interior, which you can't tell too much. All right, here it is, guys, taking the first peek inside of this Hellcat. Key fob battery low. <laughs> See the back? It's pretty kind of kids. Yeah? Yeah. Why? See the, that's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's this baby thingy. So the interior has a little bit of wear on it. Not too bad. Just needs a little detail though. Yeah, I was not expecting this. Kind of got something going on over here. Yeah, the interior is a little dirty and this is kind of sagging, which I hate. <laughs> Means I had it shoved a lot of stuff in there. What's the price on it? This one is listed at 52. Yeah. They just haven't detailed it very well. Let's pop the hood. Check, see how the coolant color is looking, all that good stuff. Supercharger coolant's good, but the other coolant. So the other so far. Can we have the right key for that one too? Go ahead and crank it up. Start, it popped really loud, which was I, I was not expecting that. So we think it might have a mid muffler leak. So we're gonna go ahead and check some stuff in here. Do some detective work, SRT pages. Okay, performance pages. It's in decent shape. It's not too bad. It just needs a really good detail. Yeah. All right. History. Oh no, it doesn't show you that. Has that all been clear? Did they clear everything? No, no. It's, it shows it right here. 0.5, 1G, 1.G. Check out all the timers. Best. Five. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. It's not bad, honestly. There's nothing that, like a red flag. Other than everything being clear, but... Yeah. Oil pressure. But she's definitely got something done to her. Because it, it sounds too loud to be stopped. Yeah, and but, but I mean, it has a stock pulley. You can tell it still has a stock pulley. I think it sounds good. Really I, th I think it's got a mid muffler delete. I can't tell. So it's 
So they don't allow to test drives because I'm guessing it's a Hellcat. Um, unless it's pre-approved, he's telling me. But um, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and kind of check out the Carfax and see what uh, the history's like. We're gonna put the, uh, they're gonna go ahead and appraise Saibu real quick, the Challenger, and uh, see how much they're gonna give us for it. I like the Charger, uh, only thing is the interior is a little worn, but that's not too big of an issue. I can get that detail, get that fixed up. It's not something that's a deal breaker as long as the engine, transmission, all the other components of the car are in good shape, uh, we should be pretty good. So anyways, pulling this car up in front of the dealership so they can appraise it real fast. Here we go. All right, guys, so here are the two cars, man, head to head, 2018 Charger Hellcat, 2017 SRT 392. Could this be the one? Can you picture me in a Hellcat Charger? Yeah. Does it suit me or no? It does. For real, for real? Bro, it's like, it, it doesn't, if nobody knows what it is, and like, you just pull up, it's like, a different, but obviously people know what they are in the car community, but yeah. still. But I feel like it's a lot more sleeper than the... Especially on like stock wheels and like just a, like a basic mid muffler dilly, it doesn't yeah. attract too much attention. I feel like it's a lot more sleeper than the Challengers are. Challengers yeah. look, it looks like a muscle car. Charger looks like a Charger. Um, but I mean, they still look good. The, the Hellcats look pretty nice. I always like the rear end of the Chargers. You can put like a fat tire on it. Yeah. They have another one in Montclair, bro, but I just, I don't know. So we're waiting to get an appraisal real quick. Um, on the uh, SRT, see where we're at numbers wise, and then we're gonna talk about the uh, Hellcat in a little bit. All right, so, so as they're doing the appraisal inside, we're gonna go ahead and do like the pros and cons on the specific car, a few things that I've noticed, a few things that Rod has noticed. So, uh, first of all, uh, the mileage is kind of a con, it's kind of high 20,000 miles, a little bit high for, little bit high. for 2018. Um, another con is the interior. The interior is not too great. It's a little, it's a little beat up, but it's doable. It's not like too bad. It's yeah. normal wear and tear. Um, what else is in there? Um, but the engine looks pretty good. Um, the brakes and everything look pretty good too. They have some cheap tires on here, so that's no good. Um, but we checked the SRT pages. Doesn't look like there was anything crazy in there in terms of like you know super high acceleration runs or anything like that. They might have cleared it, but who knows. But other than that, the thing looks pretty clean. The paint obviously black, it's gonna be a little swirled, but I think we can get that paint corrected and ceramic coated so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, and there's just like some minor little stuff like this right here, kind of wearing off and some scratches also, and stuff like that. Also but on the fender wells, it doesn't have like all the rubber built up. And you could kind of feel it inside, it doesn't have like really Yeah, so whoever had it took pretty decent care of it. Obviously had a kid because he <laughs> dinged in the back, <laughs> dinged in the back door there. But all stuff that can be fixed. Other than that, the rest of the car is in pretty good shape. They had the banana peels on here for a long time, so that is leaving a scuff mark on the bottom, which sucks. But I'm guessing my detailer can try to work that out. So uh, yeah, that is uh, kind of what we've seen so far. It has mid mufflers. It does have the mid mufflers. Yeah. Interesting, because it was pretty loud on startup. It even made a pop. I thought it didn't have the mid mufflers in there, but I Those guess it's the stock exhaust. Does it have the resonators? It has the resonators too. So fully stock and it popped like that. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So, anyways, as soon as we get a word on the appraisal, we'll let you guys know what they say. Um, let's see what's up. Do you guys like base it off of different values? Like if it's fair condition, excellent, or does it matter how With us, it's just excellent conditions, but trade in value. Okay. Trade in, uh, trade in uh, auction value. Auction, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Not, not uh, wholesale and definitely not retail. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, sir. Cool. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I got my registration, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so I have it. Cool. Yeah. A little low, huh? A little bit, yeah. It's not a little bit. It's a lot, a lot of bit, actually. But he kind of was upfront about us and told us that they don't really offer too much. So we might have to continue the search, boys, because as much as I like that Hellcat, the price is a little high at 52 because of the miles and the wear in the interior. Um, so there are some better ones out there. So 
I wanted to see if they negotiated. They don't negotiate at this dealership and they didn't offer me a good trade in value for the SRT. So there's two reasons that we're gonna have to walk away from this one. But this is kind of the car search. You know, you win some, you lose some. It, it takes a lot of time and you just gotta be patient and make sure um, you get the right deal. So anyways, we're heading out. Um, this is probably gonna be it for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys that car. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like the spec? Should I continue to look for this or should we switch it up to something else? Gerard is telling me to get a Z06. <laughs> a big, big cam, big cam nitrous LS build. Yeah, he's, uh, he's trying to tell me to go a total different direction, but we'll see. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's your boy Rush, and I'll catch you uh, tomorrow's video. Peace.